Okay, this is take three now because my husband keeps calling me. Ugh, never send a man to do grocery shopping. Um, anyways, um, so it is Monday, February 11th, and I just got back from the respirologist. This is like the third time I've repeated this now. Um, and um, so I had a chest x-ray before I saw him. Chest x-ray was clear, it was normal. The breathing test results, um, sh I scored less on them this time than I did a year and a half ago. So there was definitely a significant change. Um, and then the breathing tests that were done after I got uh, three puffs of Ventolin, um, those um, showed an improvement. Um, he said that the Ventolin gave me about 13% more uh, lung function. So, um, and then he asked me how I, if I noticed a difference after the Ventolin, which I did, and um, I told him that I felt like I had more space for air. I didn't feel a tightness in my chest or a pain in my chest. I could breathe freely. It, it really made a difference. So, you know, he asked me about if I have any allergies to dust or pollen or cats or anything like that because I, I told him that I do have a cat. Um, but I did tell him that like years ago in 2002, I had all the allergy testing done. <clears throat> the only allergies I have are to like the ant certain antibiotics and the paraphernalia diamine. Um, but anything to do with like cats or anything like that came back negative. So he did look at my nose. He said my nose was a bit red. Um, and so he thinks basically my respiratory tract is um, probably a little bit inflamed. Um, whether it's from the lupus or not, we don't know. He thinks probably not. Um, but he thinks that I just have really sensitive airways. And he thinks that even though I'm more than likely not allergic to my cat, um, <clears throat> he said that he would like to try to like see if we could not have Riley sleep in the bedroom with us, which is gonna be really hard because like we can't sleep with the door closed because it'll be freezing in there. But if we turn on the heater in there because it's freezing, then it's gonna be boiling in there. So the only way to keep it at a proper temperature is if we have our heater on in the hallway and we have the door open so that it's like a mixed, like a nice, like medium temperature. Um, and Riley, he, I don't believe Riley sleeps with us all night anyways. Um, I think he usually comes up on the bed when we go to bed, but then he usually leaves like five minutes later. And then sometimes he'll come back for a little bit, but I think for the most part, he's off the bed for the night. Um, and then when he hears the alarm clock go off in the morning, he usually comes in. So I, 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 it's going to be, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. Um, but honestly, like I'm not concerned because I, I know I'm not allergic to him. I mean, I have no allergy symptoms to him. Um, but basically what it boils down to is with what he's saying with the respiratory, um, stuff like my airways and stuff being, um, getting inflammation is basically asthma. <laughs> So, and I just have to laugh, honestly, it's gotten to the point that I have such a list of diagnoses, and diagnoses, if that's even a word, <laughs> um, that the list keeps growing, and so each time something new is added on, I actually am at a point now where I laugh, because, I mean, if I didn't, I would probably lose my mind. So, let's do the rundown, shall we? Okay, so we started off with hypothyroidism. Uh, then we have ventricular premature beats and ventricular tick. No, I don't know the name of the other one. It's VT. I forget what it stands for. There's that. Then we have lupus polycystic ovaries what else 
uh, colitis, <laughs> and now asthma, yay! So um, basically though, he said it's like not, <clears throat> it's not like a really bad case of asthma, it's very mild. And so what he's gonna do, he's gonna start me on Ventolin um, as needed. So he just said like, when I feel short of breath, like really short of breath, like I need the extra help, then I can take the Ventolin. Otherwise, I don't take it. So, um, and then he says like, he's gonna see me back in May and he wants me to kind of like keep track of how often I take it or like how many times in a week I take it. Um, if I go back and see him and he's finding that I'm taking it a lot, then he might introduce another inhaler that would be like a low dose steroid. Hi, huh? yay, steroids! I'm trying to get off of steroids and there might be another one. So I'm really, really, really gonna try not to take the Ventolin a lot. Um, I'm only going to use it when I absolutely am like, <gasps> like I mean like, I never get like that anyways, but I mean like where I'm like huffing and puffing and I have that tightness in my chest. Otherwise, I'm not taking it because I really don't want another steroid. Um, so that is the update. And um, yeah. And last night was supposed to be a night for me to take a sleeping pill. And um, for some reason, it never really fully kicked in. So I didn't have the best night's sleep, but I woke up groggy from the pill. And then as I was getting ready to go to work, I started to feel really nauseous because of course I'm trying to taper down on the Entacort for the colitis, but as I'm doing so, the colitis symptoms are coming back. So I was really, really nauseous, so I took gravel. And it, the weird thing is, is that since last week, gravel makes me drowsy now, all of a sudden. Like I have taken gravel many times before, before I was diagnosed with colitis, I was popping gravel like two times a day, one time a day, <laughs> excuse me. And it never made me feel drowsy ever. And now it does. And so, um, needless to say all morning at work, I was like literally fighting to stay awake. I felt so drugged up cause I had the leftover effects, I guess of the sleeping pill and little sleep and then on top of that I had the gravel and um I felt nauseous like all day it's finally going away a bit I'm gonna try and get some dinner in me we have some leftover uh vegetable beef soup that I made last night and I'm gonna see if that hopefully helps um and I'm just gonna try and take it easy tonight but yeah I felt horrible all day and I had to wait an hour um because my my chest x-ray was finished so quickly I had like an hour to kill before my appointment and so I pretty much slept <laughs> in the waiting room and so I think that helped um but yeah so that is the update and uh so yay a new medication to add to this whack load I don't know if you can see it you guys see that sorry I'm trying to do this like this way yeah see all of that yep and that and that's not all of it there's some in the bedroom too <laughs> so now there'll be a puffer to it hooray all right everyone <laughs> see you guys in the next video